As daylight reveals another day in Gaza, it could be a day like no other. Most streets in this densely populated city are deserted. People are cowering after a week of bombardment. Then a different cargo. Tens of thousands of leaflets urging everyone in the north to leave their homes and known shelters. The note in Arabic also warns people not to approach the barrier that separates the Hamas-controlled Gaza Strip from Israel. The IDF, Israel Defense Forces, has issued the warning to more than a million Gaza residents, advising them to head south from the city. The aim here is to minimize the damage to civilians. There are significant combat operations ongoing and we are preparing for future and the continuance of our combat operations and out of an understanding that there are civilians here whom are not our enemy and we do not want to target them. Dozens of funerals are held every day in Israel for the 1,300 civilians and soldiers who have died in the past seven days. Many families are grieving twice for dead relatives and their loved ones who are called up to serve in the Israeli army. Israeli officers have released unverified videos of airstrikes against Hamas targets in the Gaza Strip. It's claimed that 750 military targets have been hit, among them Hamas tunnels, weapon storage and the homes of their leaders. But throughout this week, constant airstrikes through both day and night have unleashed a massive destruction on Gazans too. Teams of emergency services try to help where they can. Sometimes no help is possible. Those who are able are moving south. Not everyone will be able to. It would look like a complete catastrophe. It would look like a civilian humanitarian disaster. Um, this is the sort of language that is being used by the United Nations and rights groups um, around the world. I think the language isn't alarmist. On the other side of the Gaza-Israel barrier is the ominous buildup of Israeli military power. The first incursion into Gaza since 2014 is looking increasingly likely. A new phase in the old conflict between Palestinians and Israelis. Yolo Abdavid, CGTN.